get in there then. Right. So what shall I do with this letter? It might be about my mother's disappearance. But if I open it, I'll be betraying Piaggi's trust. What should I do? Open the letter without breaking the seal? That's next level crap right there. So, it really is a list of French countrymen. Piaggi wasn't lying. Wow, nice room. Mortimer sure doesn't do things halfway. That was an abrupt exit. Can I look at it? It is just a list of names. And I don't even get to see what it is. And I spent all that... That's all I get? I spent three points on that, man. Alright, well... Let's look around at this uh, freaking art thief's place. Is that somebody... Those are fingers going into somebody's body. This guy... Wait, is that the same painting twice? No, it's not. That's one finger versus two fingers, but it's definitely like dude jamming fingers into people's wounds. Why would somebody want one, not one, but multiple paintings of that around? Weird. Is that another painting of a man eating a baby? What fantastic guest houses they have here. But that's the same man eating a baby. How many copies of the same paintings does he have? Carmelite water. Carmelite water gives you the focused state. Your next skill use will cost no effort. Uh, cannot carry more than five. That's a good one. Okay. So if it's a really expensive use, I can use that. Or if I don't have any effort. Both of which can happen. Saint Jerome and the Angel. Yet again, art with political undertones with an image of a saint hearing voices. Judith beheading Holofernes. Ironic in a way, when you know that the artist represented himself as Judith beheading her mentor, who had raped her. Saturn devouring his son. Again? I saw the same theme in the hall. I wouldn't like to be his son. Yep, that was one of the other examples of it. Also concerning, but not the same level of crazy morbid as the other one. St. Francis of Assisi in ecstasy, before superior voices. It always amuses me to see how art gets used for propaganda purposes. The conversion of St. Paul by Caravaggio. It's incredible. It doesn't look like a copy, but I was sure the original was in Rome. You say it doesn't look like a copy, but I feel like I'm going to find copies of it all over the place because there seems to be repeats here and there. I could open it, but it's, this is adding up, right? Eh. Golden elixir. Ooh. Got an item out of it. Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Lovely lectures Mortimer's giving to his guests. Very jolly. Can I have it? Does it give me, like, I don't know, religion points or something? Ooh, another collector's coin. Those are adding up. They want me to go to bed. I'll be sure to avoid that for as long as possible. Ooh. You need agility to reach that? What is that? I think it's a golden elixir or something. It's a consumable. I have no real way of reaching it at the moment, I don't think. Let's see, my bed is probably in there. Yeah, let's check outside. Maybe Mother will be out there. Do we have a shared balcony? Among houses? Or rooms? That's all blocked off. Ooh. This is adding up quickly. Good to know. That butterfly is presumably dead. Because it's not reacting even a little bit. Can, I can go there. 
Oh, what's that? Can I spot anything, I wonder? Or is it just a moment to look? seem to go into mul be able to go into multiple doors, but I don't think they line up with my room, but they might. It might just be the part of my room where the bed was. Russian ruble. I wonder what be worth today. Wow, these are adding up quickly. Hmm. Now we're up to eight coins. And decent number of inventory items. Now I know I don't necessarily have to go all in on my use of, uh, of honey until it's necessary, because I was able to use it during dialogue. Oh yeah, it's just my bedroom, isn't it? What? Oh, I failed nothing. Okay, I saw success and fail next to each other. I'm like, oh crap, I failed a thing and succeeded a thing. Episode one, off the coast of England, success. I went up to the manor. I placed, I pieced together my mother's movements, went on the docks, convinced Piagi to trust me with his letter, I met Mr. Washington. Remained in the Grand Hall to speak with Mr. Washington, found a strange book in the quay. I asked questions about my mother. I could have joined Sir Holm in the small salon. I could have made an unexpected encounter. That's very vague, but okay. Tell me this isn't over, right? Like, I didn't just reach the end of the existing content, because it says episode one over. It's because the game is episodic. So that, that's hard, that's where it gets confusing, right? There's episodes coming out, because the game has to come out in episodes, presumably, but I would assume that the game can't be over already. Nothing's really happened yet for the first content pack. Ooh, ow. Oh. Level and a half. Vulnerability is exploited. Primarily got experience for objectives completed, but I got... 800 for items found, which I believe is... It looks like every coin must give you exactly 100 then. Which is way over everything else I did, really. Vulnerabilities exploited is also... That's 200? I think I did it once each, right? Once on the servant, once on... On... On Biagi? Or... Is that his name? Alright. I have four points... Leveling up grants you three effort points, so it regenerates a little bit. So that's all the more reason not to go all in necessarily, is that some of these skills, uh, hmm. Yeah, as I get these new points, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, as I level up, I'll, I'll get effort, which means I don't, I don't want to have it maxed out when I finish missions, because I'll be missing out on the ability to regain some talents. They let me see talents because I can go all in on something, potentially, to affect where I want to go next. Hmm. Making the jelly more effective is interesting, but that's going all in on science and occultism. And there the question is, do I want to go... Oh, the inventory stuff's here. Huh. Manuscripts to equip is zero. Am I not allowed to use them yet? So the issue here is I could go all in on a skill. Which reduces the cost of using that skill. In particular, I might want to go into subterfuge because I keep using it. So reducing the cost by three would make those skills at the moment functionally free. But later on, I assume they keep going up. But like, otherwise I could put, I could invest those points in actually gaining a new skill though, is the issue. I really want to have better subterfuge though, I want to be able to spam it more without it burning away my meter. So let's become a bit of a specialist, perhaps, and see if that turns out to be a good idea or not. Huh. 
We'll see how this goes. Uh, let's, uh, validate, I think. I can't use these, can I? Yeah, I would like to gain skills, but I can't do that. Um, book lover. Reach level 3, erudition and occultism gives you plus 1 for equipping books. Being better at diversion, conviction, and etiquette gives you more time during opportunities. I'm just wondering what gives me the ability to read books. Read 5 manuscripts to get 5% more experience. Equip an extra one if you collect 10, sure. But how do I equip one? Is still what I'm wondering. Hmm. I mean, it doesn't let me. I'm not sure what to make of that. Two level, 17,500 restants. It doesn't say that on these screens. I'm wondering what that means, too. Oh, well. No, oh, equip- oh! I had to wait for that other menu to end, apparently. Equipping manuscripts. Here you can choose what to read during the adventure. Each manuscript you read confers skill points at the end of the quest. I can pick one. So, conviction, occultism, etiquette, science. Psychology is what I have here. It's just a point, though. So it's not a whole rank, it's just a point. This one's fantastic, but I can't use it yet. And I can only pick one. Let's go into occultism, because that's a skill that, when leveled up, will actually affect me. Uh, by which I mean, like, I need, I need to get that maxed out so it doesn't cost me as much, hopefully. I think. That's going to be some slow progress, I think, if it's one per quest. Your turn? The servants are not very efficient. Durishe can't be far away. They'll find her soon. Their search time is restricted given that they must keep an eye on Adams. I can take care of her, you know. Yes. Well, in any case, I do thank you for bringing her to the island. From what I've understood, the search of Durishe's room hasn't turned up any results. Not yet, no. But we've put her son in there. Perhaps he'll find something. Hmm. That might come in handy. Louis grows impatient at not yet having met the famous Lord Mortimer. He will meet him tomorrow. Oh, what a pity to lose a knight at the start of the game. Are you waiting for someone? A young French soldier. During our game of chess? Don't worry, Gregory. The game won't disappear. I'll have one of my men escort you back. Don't trouble yourself. I know my way out. Ah, good evening, gentlemen. Please forgive me for this late hour. It is never too late. And we have much to discuss. One last move? Don't worry. Our games always seem to end like this. Or always start like this. Come, come. Take a seat, my friend. Nighttime stroll, Mr. President? There's nothing like it for a good night's sleep. Do not hesitate to ask a servant to show you back. The corridors seem quite safe. Peppermint, lime flower, and valerian. 
my miracle remedy when one can't get to sleep. A very good night to you, Mr. President. Thank you. And to you too, sir. I was gonna say, isn't that my isn't that my room? What an interesting solution for the idea of uh, trying to have cutscenes in a game where you're supposed to all see it from one character's perspective <coughs> is to have that character have the power to see through other people's eyes, currently and in the future, and so on. Because we have our mother with a missing hand killing someone that was right in front of us, so that's clearly from the future. It would seem, but but we know this one's present, and they're establishing this without explaining any of it out loud, uh, because he knocks on my door and wakes me up, and so that's our hint that it's happening right now. I, I like the way that they set those up without having to explain them even. So when Napoleon Bonaparte just kind of wandered on in, Napoleon Bonaparte is a young lieutenant in the French army. In his early youth, Napoleon was uprooted from his native Corsica, and thus he bore a grudge against the aristocracy, the clergy and the French people who failed to accept him. He joined the French army with the firm intention of making a name for himself and marking history by proving his true worth. Searching for backing of any kind, he attracted the sympathy and support of Lord Mortimer. Invited to the latter's reception, Napoleon intends to prove his value to the land. So this is before he's this is essentially before he's Napoleon, like he hasn't done any of the things that he's going to do, whereas Washington has already had his revolution, and his independence, and even his presidency, and is in term two. So meeting people in different points in their lives. There's still four unknowns waiting, but we've, we've got a significant percentage of the overall number of people here now. And we're gonna see if my occultist manipulating thief character <laughs> can uh, manage his way through this. I love the idea of these character builds. I'm coming. I don't know if I would necessarily play the game three times, but I would like to have like two friends that each did a let's play of the other two builds or something. Honey. I couldn't have hoped for better. That was not there before. What? Oh, wait, no, I haven't gotten to explore this room before. The inspiration of St. Matthew, or Matthew writing his gospel, dictated to him by voices. So we know now that this was my mother's room, and they, they're, they're hoping to f for me to find something here. Circle-shaped key. De Richet, please excuse me, but I am unable to join you at present. However, rest assured that we are doing all we can to resolve the case that concerns us. By the way, enclosed, you will find a key that will enable you to retrieve the personal effects your mother left behind. Yours faithfully, Lord William Mortimer. The key works on something. Last judgment. Why do I always get the most terrifying room? I'm being very rude to Washington at the moment, but it's for a good cause, which is that I know this is my mom's room. Incredulity of St. Thomas. Why is Caravaggio representing St. Thomas putting his finger in the wound? Thomas looks on, but doesn't touch. They're just creepy paintings. Watching somebody, like, basically impale somebody else with their finger. Devil's Thorn. The torture of Ixion, condemned by the gods to lose his mind because of his arrogance. It's remarkable how similar some of these paintings are, because they're, they're all from different artists entirely, right? But like, they're, there's a shocking similarity in the style, like a uniformity that's kind of almost disappointing. Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Lovely lectures Mortimer's giving to his guests. Very jolly. Hmm. I mean, I looked everywhere before. Oh, what are you, what are you? There's a circle around the lock here. Must be the trunk Mortimer was talking about. The key should open it. it. Says hurry to open the door. Nope. Did I never find this before or something? I could open it myself. 
I'm gonna unlock it myself because it might give me skills or something and it has zero cost. Like a badass. What is that? There's a note. Effects of Sœur de Richer to be given to her son, Louis. I should probably take it. More royal jelly. So that's the glowy bit. So that's my only reward if I have my agility is I'd get some some jelly upstairs. Doesn't seem like a priority. All right, Washington. Sorry. You're very inconspicuous, I'm sure, knocking there for five minutes straight. Excuse me. Am I bothering you? No, not in the least. Is something wrong? I'm going to need your help. Do you remember the young lady we spoke of in the hall? Elizabeth Adams. Home introduced her to us. Yes. Well, she is the daughter of my friend, the Vice President, John Adams. But she is supposed to be dead. Yeah, that's bizarre. Fair enough. Good heavens! I was present at her funeral. It is disturbing indeed. Yes. I need to make sure it's her. That's where you come in. I want you to distract Elizabeth while I search her room. And perhaps get my hands on some important information. At least, I hope so. Elizabeth is in the small salon. If you hurry, you can still catch her. I just need ten minutes. But if my vision is true, there are two men nearby discussing very important issues, and one of them looks much like Mortimer. Washington is very kind, but I came to this island for my mother, not for his ghost stories. Hmm, do I keep- do I continue to ally myself with George Washington? I've kind of already confided him in him a little bit. Count on me, sir. Thank you, my friend. Keep Elizabeth downstairs as long as possible. She must not return to her room. Trust me. According to Washington, Lady Adams is in the small salon. I'd better hurry. Oh. Back the other way, I think. Yeah, because it's my room. Go, 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 go. I like that it said I- it gave me a accomplishment, like, you did it. You successfully hurried to answer the door, according to the check mark at the objective. I'm like, I didn't hurry even a little bit. I was a bad person. It's freaking me out how I do, like, a my- I'm possessed animation on a regular basis. Uh, whenever we load in. My son! Oh, you are a godsend! What's the matter, Your Eminence? I believe that Miss Adams may be in danger. What do you mean? Do you hear that? She is being manhandled in this small salon. By whom? I don't know exactly. Uh, a thug, a Frenchman, it seems. By the cut of his cloth, I'd say he's a member of the French Revolutionary Government. You should do something, my son. I'll teach you a little respect. Who do you think you are? Shit. I was supposed to make sure Adams wouldn't go back to her room. Don't worry, Your Eminence. I'll take care of it. Probably nothing to worry about. Do you want me to call for help? Please don't do anything. I'm sure with a little goodwill, everything will work out fine. Don't go and wake up the whole manor, please. Oh, thank you, my son. May God watch over you. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Forgive Ooh. Oh, multiple paths. There are multiple paths to reach your objective. It may be a good idea to think twice before embarking on the first path you come to. Well, just go out and get me there, huh? Me, sir. If we were in France, I'd have sent you to the guillotine for what you just said. Please, just let me go back to my room. <laughs> hey, you! Stay out of it! This is none of your business! I'm gonna teach this little slut how to behave! What the hell is going on? Huh? I don't think you know who I am. Stop. I beg you. I, I didn't mean to. Don't hit me, please, sir. <sighs> Shit. If I step in, Adams might just run back to her room. And if I do nothing, yes, Washington will have enough time to search, but this girl's gonna <gasps> suffer. Damn it. What should I do? <gasps> Let her go. Huh? Stay out of it, boy. Shit. <laughs> what are you playing at? 
I told you to mind your own business, boy. If you think you can side with this whore and then just walk away, you're out of your mind. Give me one good reason not to knock you down. He seems nice. Oh, God. Uh... You're not back in your slum now. You're in Lord Mortimer's home. I suggest you think carefully about what you're going to do. Don't think you're getting away with it that easily. I'm sick of all these toffs. If we were in Paris, I'd send you all to the guillotine. And on top of it all, a woman telling me how I ought to behave? I won't stand for it. Oh, okay, okay, wait a minute. What? Don't tell me you're gonna defend these harlots. I have none of the skills that related, related to these things, ah. I believe in man. From speech comes dialogue. From dialogue, peace is born. And from peace, great destinies flourish. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I get the feeling you're trying to put one over on me. If that's the case, you're making a big mistake. Sorry about that. Look, there's no point in us aggravating each other. Let's both just go our separate ways. Don't move. We're not done yet. You wanted to be the knight in shining armor and save the damsel in distress. Let's see how brave you are. Oh, he seems nice. All right, so not only am I have a gun pointing at me, but uh, she very much probably ran straight back to uh, Washington's, uh, to Washington to catch him. Unless she went somewhere besides her room. Maybe somewhere where people are less likely to catch her. Disconcerted. Someone threw you off balance. The cost of effort points increases when using your skills. Use a golden elixir to cure yourself. Oh boy. Make him about. Still a zero. Yeah. Think about it. You know your head will roll tomorrow if you shoot. Wanna bet? Sure do. I'm not in the habit of beating Lord Mortimer's guest in his own salon. You got off easy this time, but don't try it again. Woohoo! That was actually kind of intense. And I got enough points to get psychology up. I can read people's behavior like an open book. So I got a, I got a new skill without putting a single point into it myself. Uh, I was there's only one in it earlier, so I just got two of them from that conversation, I think. And I've got a point to conviction. Things are happening here. I like this. We've got Inquisitive. Gentleman, appointing conviction. Hmm. I don't know who this person is yet, but he's apparently also French and would not shut up about guillotine, so he's kind of insufferable. Alright, so when I have this this negative effect, I'm just going to constantly have all my co skills cost one more. I might want to use an elixir. Do my items show up in my inventory somewhere around? There they are. Um, cures negative alterations. I don't know if it cures one of them or all of them, necessarily. Because all of that, if it's all of them, I want, my, my, it might be more efficient to wait for myself to get more negative traits. Oh, I have five royal jellies. I'm going to want to use one of those before I find another one, otherwise I won't be able to carry it. There he is. Jacques Perrault. Jacques Perrault is one of the fathers of the Revolutionary Tribunal of Paris. During the Terror, he quickly became one of the most worrying figures in all of Paris. He distinguished himself by taking part in the Siege of the Bastille and in the capture of Louis XVI, the current King of France. He was involved in the creation of the Revolutionary Tribunal. Is he a man of law or torturer? Nobody dares say. This judge of the people has overseen many trials that sent opponents and traitors of the Revolution to the guillotine. Peru interrupts his revolutionary activities when Lord Mortimer, his patron, invites him to join the, la the latter's social gatherings. Heads are rolling. That's what, that's what she dropped. Let's not forget about that. Remember it or leave? We'll definitely the remember it. Elizabeth was wearing. Huh. She was so frightened, she was unaware that she'd lost it. Yeah, well, it didn't seem to do her much good. Talisman belonging to Elizabeth Adams. Maybe useful for distracting her, maybe integral for other reasons. 
This went wildly, wildly out of control for me. A drachma. I'm definitely in no hurry to leave, even though the game's telling me to. Just because what might I be able to find in here? I've never been here before, and it was closed off to me previously. Hey, these look like pages taken from an ancient encyclopedia. Oh, I'm on my way to a big skill up if I can get the third one. Plus one to three skills, two of which are specifically within my build. Where's linguistics? Linguistics is not one of mine, right? But it's like, it's science and erudition, which are, are two of mine. Where's linguistics? It's down here. Hmm. Ha being able to learn other languages would be fantastic. The idea of him just picking up on the fly is kind of hilarious, though. There's a pattern with five circles on this chest. Oh, yeah? You don't say. Well, it's free now. It says plus one, but it says zero. Difficulty two. Reduced by three plus one. I think that makes it a net zero, right? So I still don't pay? Golden elixir. Neat. Oh. Is that four golden elixirs? Crap. I guess I should have used one of them. How could have I ever <laughs> expected to find that many of them in a pile? I wish I could get the fourth one. Damn. I'm glad I have subterfuge. I wonder if all of the skills are equally distributed throughout the game, or if some of them are like brokenly more capable than the other ones are. No, I just wasted. No, I didn't wait. No, right, I didn't waste Rojo because I just used one a moment ago to make sure that wouldn't happen. Right. Yeah, I'll, whenever something reaches five, I'll probably just use it as soon as possible. Just to make sure I don't waste the next one I find. Especially uh, Elixir and Golden Jelly. The other ones are more situational, where there, there's specific spots where I'd want to use one, so... Having a surplus doesn't necessarily hurt me, but... Uh, wasting a, a, a Royal Jelly would be a problem. Because uh, if I... W that means I'm just going to be behind on my overall amount of... Uh, effort points I could have left throughout the game. Because we've, we've now established that even going to the next chapter does not reset your effort meter. It just gives you three when you level up. Lady Adams must have locked it behind her when she fled. Did she flee that way? Maybe she didn't go straight to her room. Or maybe she totally did and, we're, and he's screwed. I think I already checked around here. Where can I find that last one? Well, did you get time to search the room? Louis, I only needed 10 minutes. Imagine the scandal if she had found me. What would you have done in my shoes? She was in the middle of an argument with some angry guy. 10 minutes? I didn't ask for the moon. Nonetheless, you found what you were looking for, didn't you? Not everything, but yes. Elizabeth is definitely the daughter of John Adams. We need more information. You can always go back. It's too late now. Well, I haven't... It says go back to bed. How about no? How about I go find Elizabeth's room and return what she dropped, giving me an inn to talk to her? Is that another elixir? Yep. Do you think that's supposed to be Saturn? I find it interesting because the, the painting of uh, Saturn eating his sons, uh, the idea is that he's so paranoid and driven by what he has to do to preserve himself that he uh, is continually destroying what matters to him and those around him, but then he ultimately fails anyway. So I wonder if that's supposed to be representative of the game as a whole. I know you. It also distinctly looks different from the other paintings in the way that, like, the other ones are so, like, ridiculously realistic in, their, in how they're portrayed, where that one's so wispy. It actually conflicts with many of the paintings around us. Ooh, 
Weird how they're acting like the guy who lives here made it. That's weird. Can go anywhere else. Can't pick up that book. Can't go in there. I'm hoping it doesn't take me back to my room because I want to see if I can find Elizabeth's. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Can't go there. I want to go lockpicking people's houses. <laughs> so Jacques Perru. Well, that guy's a prick. He's right next to Bonaparte. That's not the right way. Oh, you're stopping me, are you? And the weird lighting thing's kind of happening right now. So they definitely want me to go back to my room. Maybe to trigger a specific scene on my way there. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Duke Manuel Godoy. Oh, that your eminence? What are you doing here? I was worried about you, my son. Uh, how did it go with Miss Adams? Why are these gray and that one's not? It's not skill related as far as I can tell. Don't worry about that anymore, Your Eminence. I had to step in, but everything's under control. <laughs> what an adventure, my son. <laughs> I am relieved to hear it. You acted as a good Christian. In these troubled times, we need more men of your caliber. It's nothing, Your Eminence. I did what I had to do. Well, you did the opposite. Good. Well, thanks for the news. My son, I have another problem. I wanted to speak to you about something important. Do you still have my letter on you? The one I gave you in the hall? Why do you ask? I have a name to add to it. Lie to him? I don't need to lie to him because I didn't break the seal because I'm a badass. Here it is. Thank you, my son. Ah, I see that it's still sealed. I was right to put my trust in you, Louise. Now give me one second, please. I can't imagine what would have happened if I hadn't added this name to the list. Please, be sure to give this letter to Sarah the moment you see her. You can count on it. Have a good night. Now I don't feel so bad about spending those points to uh, open it up discreetly. Otherwise I would have been in trouble. We're stocking up on these, aren't we? Faithful. One point etiquette. 